Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add Instaband to your own Gorilla Tag copy, just like this. Here's where all the play player IDs go, and when you get banned, it will say, it'll say you were banned from whatever game it is, and then banned by, because, banned by user with ban permissions, and then it'll say create a ticket in the Discord if this... I, if this was false. Alright, so first you're gonna come to the. Or uh, actually, um, please go get my game, Project Playboy. And, well, it's my friend's game, he owns it, but I made it for him. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the game you have to copy and paste. And then. So, let's get into the video. So, first you're gonna come to Discord. And then come to the server I'll put in the description. This is the server for a game. And to join the server, you're going to click, go into Discord, click add server, join server, and then put the link in here, and then click join server. And then you're going to come to APKs, and let me just put the Instaban file real quick, if I can find it. Just give me a second. Um, sorry I'm not editing this because I don't feel like editing it. Um, let me just find it. Alright, so now it's in here, you're going to download that, and then you're going to come to Playfab, and then come to um, Automation, Revisions Legacy, Upload New Revision, and then you're going to put that file in there, deploy this revision after save, and then click Save Revision 14. And then, to put, uh, so let me just delete mine real quick. And then save. Or actually, it'll look like, it'll just look like that. So, save and deploy. Alright, so you're going to come to players, and then find the player you want to give Instaband. So, my name is Mr. Sigma in the game. I don't know why, but I'll change it. Um, So, you're going to click enter. Click this ID, and then don't copy title player account ID. You're going to copy master player account ID. You're going to copy that, control C, and then come back to automation, revisions legacy, and then click between the, it'll just be, click between these two things, and then, so if there's already a player ID in there for some reason, or if you want to, so you're going to put that player ID, and then you're going to put, um, where is it? Um, where is it? You're going to put, like, a little comma like that, and then space. Well, no, so first you're... So, not, no IDs will be here for you, so you're just going to put your um, player ID and then put a, a comma and then space. But if there's already um, a player ID here or you're adding more, you're going to do the same thing. At the end of the, the first player ID, you're going to put a comma, then a space, and then put that player ID, so control V. Wait, so control V, and then your player ID will be in there. Save revision, save as revision 14. Deploy this revision after save. Save and deploy. And then to make them see the band screen, you're going to come to settings, API features, scroll all the way down, and then check off allow client to view band reason and duration. And then... So yeah, that's how to add Instaban to your GTAG copy, and see you in the next video.